I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to multiply permutations. Now, permutations is a very complicated you know, looking formula, so when you're multiplying permutations, the work is not so much hard, but a little bit on the tedious side, because you've got to break down permutations into the respective factorial sides. So let's get right to it. Suppose you want to multiply these two permutations, 3p2 uh, times 4p1. Now, you can't really multiply these two until you break up each permutation expression and go from there. So you have to remember three, the formula for factorials. So 3p2 is broken up, broken up this way. 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial. And then 4p1 is going to be 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 1 factorial. Now, 3 factorial, as you know, is going to be 3, 2, 1, with the numbers multiplied together. And then 3 minus 2 factorial is going to be 1 factorial. Now, 1 factorial, though, is just the number 1, so that's a good thing for us. Now, 4 factorial is 4, 3, 2, 1, with the numbers multiplied together. And then 4 minus 1 factorial is going to be 3 factorial. We'll expand that very, very shortly. Now, in this particular case, the 1's cancel, so you're left with 3 times 2, which is going to be, give you 6. And with 3 factorial, that's going to be 3, 2, 1. So it's going to be 3, 2, 1 with the numbers multiplied uh, together. And then, like with any fraction, you reduce when necessary. The 3's reduce, the 2's are cancel, and the 1's cancel out. So really, 4p1 is just narrowed down to 4. So in actuality, you're multiplying by... 6 times 4, which at the very end gives you 24. So when you're multiplying permutations, you have to break down each permutation into their respective factorial fraction form, reduce each permutation, and then multiply at the very end. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief demonstration on how to multiply permutations.